Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. It's good that Microsoft has a few products that can keep you protected, although it's weird that they sell both the disease and the cure. Let's look beyond that. There's the firewall that comes with Windows. There's also Windows Defender, which you can download and install uh, with Windows if it's not already baked right into your system. We had an email from Michael Downing who asks, my friend may have gotten a virus through Windows Live Messenger. Will Windows Defender help against viruses or just spyware? Well, the, to answer the question directly, uh, no, Windows Defender will not defend against viruses. It will only protect you against certain forms of spyware, not necessarily every bit of spyware that may be out there. Uh, for complete protection, you may want to look into another spyware product, and I'm going to leave it up to the community to make recommendations because everybody's got a different choice for uh, spyware monitoring. Uh, Windows Defender uh, really is there as a last line of defense, not necessarily a first line of defense. It's relatively weak in comparison to other spyware uh, tools, or I should say anti-spyware tools. Uh, as far as virus protection is concerned, Microsoft has OneCare, which in the next couple of days, at least from the day of this recording, they'll be releasing OneCare 2.0, uh, which will hopefully be a radical departure from 1.0, which was really raked across the coals and lambasted by reviewers uh, for its incompleteness and really kind of general junkiness. Uh, 2.0 should be better. Uh, it's not going to be free. A OneCare subscription costs about $50 a year. I believe it starts at that point. The, uh, the only way, though, you can receive a virus through an instant messaging program is if, A, someone sends you a file, and B, you open that file. Uh, there's really no other way around it. So I've uh, got a couple of recommendations. One, never auto-accept files, for, even from friends, because if that friend gets infected and you have your instant messenger to auto-accept files, well, it will automatically accept the virus if the virus's payload includes sending itself to other people in the instant messenger. So never turn on auto accept uh, for files. And two, never open a file without first asking if the person who sent it to you sent it to you. So you'd ask them, excuse me, did you send me this file? Yes. Uh, and then of course if they sent you the file and it's like a, a zip file or an exe or possibly even uh, something that's, uh, you know, something as benign as a PDF, like ask them, you know, did you scan this file? And then you take the next step and scan the file before you open it. So be smarter than the software. I mean, the software's there, you know, and has a few convenient configuration options, but uh, that doesn't mean you should turn them on. Be very, very careful when you move forward. So uh, now I, this is a point where I'm going to toss it back to you and ask for your antivirus recommendations, uh, anti-spyware recommendations, um, or any other instant messaging safety tips uh, that uh, you might pass along to myself or others. And, uh, you know, you could email me if you have a, a lengthy uh, recommendation that you don't feel like posting. Uh, my email address is chris at perillo.com. You're also welcome to embed this video in your own website, your own blog, wherever. Your favorite forums on the internet, doesn't matter. Share the word, spread it. Uh, and you're also welcome to join us uh, in our chat room uh, where we're typically talking tech 24 hours a day, seven days a week at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.